Defense gets overlooked so much in today's NBA, and there's a reason for that. You don't market defense, you market offense, and it really is more exciting to watch a crazy shot go in than it is to watch someone steal the ball. But you need defense to win as well, and that's why today we will look at the thief of the 90s. Hello everyone, I'm Purple Prince, and today's story features Mookie Blaylock, one of the top ball stealers in the 90s and the 11th best thief in NBA history. Mookie Blaylock was selected number 12 by the New Jersey Nets in the 1989 NBA Draft. Standing at 6 feet, Blaylock was a typical point guard back then. He carried a reputation of being a ball hawk in college, which proved to be true in NBA as well. Blaylock wasn't starting in his first season with the New Jersey Nets, but he played quite a bit averaging more than 25 minutes per game and used his time very well averaging 10.1 points, 4.2 assists and 1.6 steals. He was pretty much splitting the playing time with the veteran point guard Lester Connor, who was averaging only 4 more minutes per game. In his second season, Blaylock was starting and he flourished as a ball hawking defender. Mookie averaged 14.1 points, 6.1 assists and 2.3 steals. He was improving at a pretty good rate, but one thing he didn't have yet was his 3 point shot. During his 3 years in New Jersey, Blaylock hit only 19.6% of his 3 point shots which was one of the reasons he got traded after his third season with the Nets to the Atlanta Hawks. The team name fit him well, as well as new coach Lanny Wilkins. Paired with the Hall of Famer and Dominique Wilkins, Blaylock's assist numbers went up significantly, to 8.4 assists per game in his first season and 9.7 assists per game in his second season with Atlanta. He also finally developed his three-point shot, hitting around 35% of his three-pointers in his first two seasons in Atlanta, which isn't anything special, but much better than the 19% he hit before that. Second season in Atlanta not only featured Blaylock's best season to date, averaging 13.8 points, 9.7 assists and 2.6 steals, but also the peak of his playoff career. Atlanta Hawks got to Eastern Conference semifinals, where they lost to Indiana Pacers. Blaylock was an all-star that year. This was also the season when Atlanta Hawks shocked everyone by trading their best player and all-star and Dominique Wilkins after the all-star break. The team was ready to start to do something different and Mookie Blaylock took on a noticeably bigger role on offense. He was still a defensive pest but now averaging 17.4 points per game as well. The life after Dominique Wilkins was going nowhere though. Atlanta didn't really have an identity and it was a quick playoff exit time after time. Three more times they got to the conference semifinals, but that was it. It was time for a big change in Atlanta, so Mookie Blaylock was traded to Golden State Warriors for two players and the 10th overall pick in the 1999 NBA Draft. In total, Mookie Blaylock spent seven seasons, the prime of his career with Atlanta, averaging 14.9 points, 7.3 assists, 4.6 rebounds and 2.6 steals per game. Golden State was the last stop of his career. His first two years with the Warriors were uneventful. Blaylock was averaging his usual 11 points, close to 7 assists and more than 2 steals per game, but after drafting Gilbert Arenas, Blaylock was relegated to a bench role. He had the lowest numbers of his career, 17 minutes per game, only 3.4 points, 3.3 assists and 0.7 steals. His career was over. With the arrival of the new millennium, Mookie Blaylock was out of the NBA. During his 13 seasons in the NBA, Mookie Blaylock played in 889 games, started 800 of them, averaged 13.5 points, 6.7 assists and 2.3 steals per game. Mookie Blaylock has 2,075 steals for his career, which puts him 11th on the all-time thieves list. He wasn't a superstar, but he was one of the best, if not the best thief of the 90s. His life outside the basketball unfortunately is not so bright. He got sentenced to prison for his role in a suburban Atlantic car crash that killed a mother of five. That's the end of this video. Hope you like it. What are your memories of Mookie Blaylock? Was he underrated as a point guard? Leave a comment below, like this video and subscribe for future NBA content. This was Purple Prince and I'm out. Got the windows rolled up, riding down the boulevard clean. Young boy following his dreams, I've been making big plays. Big plays, big plays. Motherfucker hate it if he try to switch ways. We got liquor in the trunk and a little more smoke. Take our minds of being broke, we've been making big plays. Big plays, big plays. 
motherfucking hater if he try to switch ways.